Hello everybody, welcome back to the iTunes family. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a method on how to install apps on iOS 5 or iOS 6 in 2024 because I made a tutorial on Viterra just a few months ago, which is now in most viewed video, so thank you for that. However, the problem with that is that the servers of FERT often go times go down, as I keep getting repeatedly in the comments. So I decided to find another method that doesn't require a computer, and this is the best method I've found, and I've been using this method for two years now. It's never failed on me once. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is obviously go into Cydia. Sources, edit, add, and you need to add this source right here, cydia.akemi.ai, and hit add source. And now we'll go ahead and add the source and I'll get back to you once it's added. Now the source is added, you need to go into Karen's repo. Please don't make any jokes about her name. She's a very good iOS developer who keeps a lot of tweaks updated for old and new iOS versions. Now you need to go into App Sync Unified. You need to hit install. And because it uses App Sync Unified, which works on up to even modern versions of iOS, this method will work on iOS. This method will work on newer iOS versions, or it should. However, I'm not entirely sure about that. And so if you guys want to try it on your own, please do. But please don't comment down below if you have issues because I have never tried it on iOS 7 or, or above because the you know, App Store works on those versions. But now what you need to do is you need to go onto this website right here, mttmdev.org slash web app. You need to wait for this website to load. And now as well as we'll offer pages for iOS 4 apps. I try it on iOS 4, it doesn't work because the web browser is, is iOS 4 is too old to load this page. But you can go into, if you're on running iOS 6, you can choose either iOS 4, iOS 5, or iOS 6 apps. However, if you're running iOS 5, you, you can just choose iOS 4 and iOS 5 apps. However, let's just say I want to try out an iOS 6 app that I don't have yet. So I'll just go Wait for this to load. And there we go. So you can, then you can just install whatever app you find. Which seems like let's just install Bacon Reader just as a random app. Now we'll go ahead and install it and I'll get back to you once it's installed. So if you open up Bacon Reader, this app should work without any problems. And some of these apps will, will not work. Like for example, iTunes Remote app, it'll just say, ask for your Apple ID and password. Oh, this is just a subreddit, subreddit navigator. Like for, and I'll show you an example is if I go into iTunes remote here, I'll just ask your iTunes, Apple ID password because whoever previously had this app forgot to crack the app so it wouldn't, wouldn't ask for your Apple ID. So there is that. But did this video help you at all? Please comment that down below. So always thank you all for watching this video. I'm the iTunes family and as always, peace out.